Go ahead. Okay, this is the Wild Harvest Joba mixture. Um, I'm going to mix it with a litre of water, 100 grams with a litre of water. If I mix, or, or any juice of your choice, and I'll leave it in the fridge and throughout the day, so long as I drink my litre of juice, uh, I can, uh, this should help fill, fill me up. Um, and then I will be eating a healthy diet of fresh fruit, salad, steamed vegetables, fish, chicken, which will help towards my daily intake. <laughs> it's really hard. I'm like, oh, but that's really hard. <laughs> Have you heard about Baobab before, Amanda? I knew what you've, you've, um... Yeah, you have. Said, said to me about Bao Bao. So, oh. yes, I have heard about Bao Bao. Oh, very good, yes. yeah. And, and what does it taste like to you when you do it? And what do you like to mix it with? Because I know you like to make some Bao Bao shakes and okay. stuff like uh, that. Okay, I um, use Bao Bao to make shakes and smoothies. I mix it with Wonjo. You can mix it with banana. Um, you can mix it with anything of, of your own. So, papaya is very good with papaya. And what would you say, what does it taste like? It's got a... What does it remind you of? Something that people yeah, in in the US or in the UK would know? It's like a yogurt taste. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, to me, it's like a plain yogurt taste. With a... Uh, if, you, if you add your, your banana and your papaya, then it, it, bring, it seems to bring it out more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, I guess you can make a lot of things with baobab. You know, yeah, you can smoothies, use shakes, uh, energy bars. You can mix it with oats in the morning. I've even heard that during the Second World War, they actually imported baobab as a substitute for leaven to make bread. Oh. Now that would be interesting, that would be wouldn't interesting. it? That would be worth trying in the solar cooker. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cheers.